Yo, welcome to Line Podcast. Like it or not, the live show in the O. We're ready to go. What the fuck is good? To my right, it's OGB. Semper Fire, motherfuckers. Straight ahead, you know who. Pharaoh Hogs are Roman. To my left, this is the original. What's side down? And I'm your host, Mr. Tokes. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hey, man. What's, what's, up, what's, up, what's up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Good, good, good man in party mode. Yeah, Birthday mode. man. Happy really, really fucking. Really. Well, speaking of that, first and foremost, let's let's give a big grand salute to our Marines. Happy birthday, Marines! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I feel so patriotic right now. I need now, the bayonets. Bro. You should face yeah. the fucking flag right now. Where's the bayonets? Stand. Salute your flag, soldier. That's not. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's not, that's not regulation. <laughs> it's a big moment. Yeah. And with that being said, well, yeah. uh, this gets released tomorrow, so it'll be Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day. Yeah, happy Veterans that's Day. right. Uh, everything, you know, you. everything, all of it. Uh, thank you for protecting our masses of sorry asses. Yes. So uh, nice to get somebody had to a day twice. Yeah. yeah. Veterans. Back to then. back. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is that is, uh, and it wasn't even intentional. Wow! Right, that's just how just bad. happy to have we. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The Marines were formed in 1775, November 10th, in a bar, mm. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Tun Tavern. Now I didn't know that. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I right that now, I ninety like five right uh-huh. is over where that tavern used to be, uh-huh. but there's a monument marker. There's a marker there marking. Oh, it. that's uh-huh. fucked up. But. That would have been a nice spot. But uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah Captain Samuel Nicholas. He uh, was commissioned by Congress to uh, form two battalions of Marines. Okay, they just decided they need some dudes to fucking board these ships and just kill every Brit on there. You know? <sighs> so anyway, so they thought it would be a good idea to go to a bar. Uh-huh. They knew this like this bar was heavily populated, so they approached the bar owner. And commissioned him. He was the very first Marine Corps recruiter. <laughs> yeah, uh, wow. Robert Mullen was his name. That's he was awesome. he was the That's owner of the bar. Good. That is awesome. So it was just a bunch of fucking drunk, cutthroat, fucking crazy motherfuckers. You know, that's how yeah. it all started. Like, Two battalions. You know, it's about eight. You know, each one's probably like eight hundred Marines. So about fifteen hundred, yeah. we'll say. Yeah, that's how it started. Damn. I want to check the calendar in that day. I bet you it was a Monday. Everybody's everybody's pissed off at work. Then what's at the bar? They knew the revolution was coming. Yeah, goes on a Monday. (laughs) Y'all want to work? Y'all want to? Hey, son, you hate Mondays too? (laughs) (laughs) Let's get let's get the fuck out of here. You like beer? Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) exactly. He knows me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh well, that's 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 beautiful, man. I would say. just real quick, I don't know for whatever it's worth. Don't ever mistake uh, the massive desi- divide in our country for uh, lack of support for the greatest military of mankind. Yes, um, that is. Um, I think it sometimes it gets a little twisted sometimes, mm-hmm. and I don't think anybody is anti-military when you get no. right down to it. Not if you're a true American. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, got the job. Well to do. said, son. It is the most powerful tool in the uh, government toolbox. Exactly. Yes. yes. Um, also, we have another quick shout out. This one's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I want to shout out to the Hungry Howies at East Colonial North Alafaya. Yes, sir. I was informed they play our show on blast while they're at work. Shut at the up. pizzeria. Yes. Flipping dough and folding dough you know <laughs> folding flipping dough, dough and folding dough show. listen to the show getting dough that's Gotta, awesome dude that's, hey, shout but, out to but, Hunger Howie yo I love the support thank you guys yeah. uh, keep that shit blazing really loud blast that shit uh, appreciate if you, get, you yeah if you get in trouble sorry about that please yeah. subscribe sorry in the future if we do something <laughs> yeah yeah sorry in advance all for love. all the curse all words love. your customers are gonna be looking over and going what are you playing back there just tell them you like the show like we like your different crests yes <laughs> no it's my it's one of my ex's uh kids yeah. that's uh working over there so he's been pushing the show man so keep that's going preston all love. yeah hey, I'm preston's Chicago, a I'm mean Chicago little D- dude D- i love that dude <laughs> Not yeah. safe. Not safe for the little ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too yeah. much sauce. <laughs> yeah. Unintended. Yeah. Not not PG thirteen, but you know. Yeah. yeah. But thank you, Preston, man. You're the man. Yo. And uh 
Thank you, Hungry Howie's out there. I smoked a lot of weed at this one particular Hungry Howie's <laughs> right when I was in high school. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh no. It was it the spot. Been, it might have been a Little Caesars. So I forgot, <laughs> so I forgot the pizza joint. <laughs> ah, hey. Whatever. Hey, it was Hungry Howie's. Whatever it was, I smoked a lot yeah. of weed to get some. It smelled good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I think it was Little Caesars. Okay, Damn. Quick, quick hurricane update. It's wet, windy, and rainy. Welcome to Florida. No immediate yeah. danger there, okay? This is a bad rainstorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all Welcome right. Not Florida. even. Bro, yeah. <laughs> people are buying out generators, dogs. They are? Oh, yeah. Is there water disappearing off the shelves? Damn. I don't, oh, no, shit. not yet. It's not like the toilet paper craze, but okay. genera- uh, generators. Because it I looks w- like it's going straight up the Gulf. Oh, well. Remember that spaghetti string thing? It could hit like Africa and then come back. Yeah. And come back and talk to us. Yeah. 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 The boomerang fucker. But it's not that powerful though, is it? Nah. But mm-hmm. it's, but the thing is, it could be powerful. It's literally like, the by the time you wake up in the morning, that bitch could be a four roar. Exactly. Shit. You it's never back, know. It's back to the media of them not knowing. So it's like, hey, these are a thousand projections. We got to yeah, get yeah, one right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get one right. But right. South Florida out of you know they the best they're guess. Spread flooded, but. That was still from yeah, the rain. I it saw that. Yeah, but it wasn't from like the hurricane touching down on that. No, so. no it was heavy rainfall, but yeah. it was flooded. It was flooded. Heavy. It was flooded, and and the lady said that I've been living here since 1976, and and it's never flooded like this. And her shit oh, was shit. flooded. Dang. My mom's on the third floor of her condo, so she. Oh good. yeah, she's straight. I think they said it was like canals or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but she's straight, man. Yeah, I'm not saying the yeah, people I'm, on the I'm first floor. Saying, fuck, yeah. just don't bother my mom on the third yeah. floor. I'm not saying. I'm not saying for safety. I'm just saying <coughs> for water level rising. Yeah, purposes. it is. To, to, I mean, that's something to be said. That she's I mean, been yeah, living there since Florida. 19, she's been living there since 1976. It'll drain. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, to someone's house. Yeah, yeah, Eventually. <laughs> uh, shucked up. But the hey, most, the most. Per spec, standing water is only after four hours, bro. So, and that's after. A rain event. So if it, yeah, yeah listen to Crummy. He has the <laughs> the, point. the wherewithal with his turtleneck right now. <laughs> listen He's to on me. board. The fucking turtleneck. Uh, coronavirus uh, update. Yeah, big big time, man. This is a shocking update. Then they go up. Hundred thousand crazy numbers, dude. Um, mm-hmm. This was out of study finds. Uh, cases of COVID nineteen and children on the rise. Uh, with highest one week spike yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, children. Let's fucking open yes. schools. Yay, yay. We had a hundred thousand people yesterday, bro. <sighs> In one day, uh, people. It's been revo- reported. I want to remind everybody. It's been reported that this virus fucks your brain up, like mm-hmm. like beyond ten years of damage, like. In one one, if you if you catch this, mm. that's how serious we're talking. It does damage to your fucking heart, like you had a heart attack. Mm. Everybody, yes, it's, it's different. Yeah, dude. Whether, I know what Mike's saying though. Well, I think. Well, regardless, I don't want to put fear out there. No, 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 no. I do. If it's gonna make people be safe. Because what at worst case scenario it happens to them. I mean, no, I see what you're saying. You're not doing it for fear attention and. Mike's not pushing the narrative for yo. Make sure you're not it's listening accurate too much. Information. Just be aware. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Information. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just reminding people that what? while they're acting, this is nothing because it's very easy. I don't to want my kid time. thinking if he's gonna if he catches Corona, he's got ten years off his life. Well, what I'm saying is they got eight months of this, mm-hmm. and the data you kind of adapt back. to it too. And you and you uh, kind of and you're kind of getting comfortable. And you think you're a face mask and a face mask is an right, accessory, but they right. have a vaccine oh, not coming yeah. out soon. I've noticed so a decline. Wash your masks. masks. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Make sure you're washing your masks and and staying up on your shit. Yeah. That's all I'm saying because, dude, this is a big deal, man. It, these, yeah. these numbers are fucking spiking. Yeah, and, and, and Europe just locked down again. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. So their death spikes up to forty three percent. So now they're saying one in every five, listen to this, one in every five grocery store workers have tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah, because it's all young people. Most, out and about most of which are asymptomatic. Yep. Dang. Of course. That's that bull, bro. That's the crazy. One thing. in every five. And they asymptomatic. At so a they, place that everybody goes. So how, so how do those people become asymptomatic more so the, than... So well, that, how do they know they have it? Then? Yeah. So that yeah. makes that's, no. I'm not saying but that's I'm why it's so dangerous, right? But that's but crazy. that's why I'm that's why I'm just saying I'm not trying to scare people. I'm just saying, hey, 
This is yeah, real shit. Don't fall asleep at the wheel. Right. There's so, still two hands on the wheel. Right. But but with Pfizer coming out with their vaccine and it's 90%, like, what about those 10% of people? Are they, you know, and would yeah. you take the vaccine? I take it out to somebody I already said else. That. No? I already said that, man. I'm not, I'm not fucking around with that shit. Not, yeah. not, dude. I mean, I would love. Not the first batch. Not a, no, no. I mean, by the time we get <laughs> it. Who was the first batch of <laughs> brand new dude, why, do you think, why do you think I'm working out so fucking hard, dude? And I'm juicing and just doing everything healthy I could fucking find. But that, I'm, that, I might stop yeah. smoking, dude. I'm, but what I'm saying is I'm that. Trying. You're done pushing that. it. Yeah. He's done that before. No, I'm just kidding though. No, it's but a, what I'm saying that it's don't a different, that different animal. I mean, you have to be like. Fuck remember that, that movie where the dude was in the bubble? <laughs> I don't know you anymore, man. Yeah. You have to be Bubble Man, bro. Right. Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy. Remember Bubble Boy? From that? <laughs> they were setting us up through Bubble Boy, yo. We just caught it. No, remember Bubble it, Boy? Bubble Boy is another one, dude. I didn't even think about that shit, bro. Yeah, bro, remember, bro had the immune system where nothing, like yeah. he couldn't come outside at all. Yo. His whole entire we're, house we're was like a bunch of fucking bubble yeah. boys. Well, he had his house, his room, and his yeah. house was like he was like a gerbil. Yo, yo. So after a while, yo. though, after a while, you run so much oh, in your bubble, shit. bro. You might get in condition to be able to come outside again. You got one of the hamster wheels. Oh. Yeah. What Strength, you? Strengthen your strengthen your immune system by running. No, isn't that, in your no, bubble. isn't that bad? Like you need up dirt. Immune system. You need germs. You need germs. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, you so really your body would be like, "What is this battle?" That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so how did Bubble Boy live? Hey man, he never had it. He never. Had, he just lived uh, in the bubble. His yo. mom just didn't want him out. <laughs> now, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He was never. He never had a that fuck. I don't think I'm ever gonna watch no, that movie. No. So his mom was a half a country. <laughs> I remember that movie. His though. mama just didn't. Yeah. His mom I didn't think want I him turned that out. movie on for like five minutes one time. Dang. Bro, buddy, yeah, buddy came out the bubble because he wanted to. Sacrifice. It was a good movie. Yeah. He wanted to I sacrifice like himself for his chick, so he ran out. Yeah. He yeah. passed out. <laughs> But nothing happened. Yeah, he woke too. up. He was like, "Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I was supposed to be dead, bro." Oh. Smash city. But real That's talk, it. though, like, uh, you know, union ding, leaguers, ding, ding, ding. union leaguers could I be would. organizing for these grocery stores too, man. Hey, yeah. You know what I mean? They could be doing something for these people because if they're one in five the in every grocery line. store is fucking out there and they're and, fucked up and the central. Yeah, think about what hospitals must be then. If one in every five is like that at a nah, fucking they, grocery store, it's not. It can't be that bad because they're. They're Checking guarded, all the time, they're yeah, testing twenty four seven to the nines. But they're using but the that's same PPE need. still, though, bro. We right. still don't have enough PPEs going on. It's this is this is crazy, bro. And and we they, really like exposed it, like for what it is. They, and I'm not talking about they, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They should be testing these Fearful these grocery thing, store people. They should be testing. They really do, but it's because America don't give a. Really that's that's what it boils down to, man. Do you think that we should lock it down the whole economy? I don't think so, bro. You gotta pull off the band. You have to. Bro. Uh, what I'm saying, have, I'm asking. Yeah, you, no, yeah? I'm yeah. agreeing with you. Open conversation. Yeah, I yeah, thought about I, it. I'm thinking about you're it. You're gonna hear I, just as much crying from. Yeah, because you know, sorry, industry. Joe, sorry, yeah, Biden. Because Biden got four years, bro. Take one year million, off. Think about it like this. It back up in the based off, <laughs> based off everything I just told you. <laughs> that's funny. You. Based off everything I just told you. Plus, ten million people are already out of a job permanently. Yeah. Then you you figure people like my mom that didn't go back to her job because fucking she would be dead probably by now. She did, Damn. according to this, one in every five. <laughs> Damn. So think yeah. about it. You Call know me what I'm coughing saying? in my face right now. My right. Man. So fucking. <laughs> <laughs> did that just happen? So uh, so so. That was a laugh. I'm sorry. Really laugh. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Bad. <laughs> trying to go into the, trying to be a part of the walking dead cast. <laughs> so, so based off everything we told you and then all the all the possibilities of the potential more outbreaks and the spike in numbers and the kids in school and the fucking one in five in the grocery store. Yeah, man, I don't see any way around it that we have to do something. Just wow. check it. Conspiracy theory right How now. How you going to eat? Five trillion dollars, not to the biggest corporations this time. How are you going to eat? What do that's you how. Eat though? That's a broad question. You shut down my own tax or? dollars. That's how. Feed me, bitch. Those are our tax dollars. That's for emergencies. This is a fucking emergency. You're yeah. supposed to kick that you shit that, back. You run that check now more than ever, man. But bro, we remember the last time and what happened with our <laughs> unemployment system here in Florida. You don't want to be fucking around with that shit. You may not get it. That. 
that's yeah. Unemployment is a joke. Yeah, so it's that's like feeding a whale a tic tac, dude. It's, it's I'm never saying they, need, they need they need to, instead of fucking writing checks to all these people, man. They should have fucking so you these small businesses not going to stay through open the states. Employ a the lot government more is not going through the states. The government, you know, federal just send us a check every until we get out of this situation. But I'm dude, saying, you know how's it going to get here if you the economy I mean? shut down? How's it going to get transported? No. How are goods going to get to you? Central, you still got mail. You shut down central the economy. Jobs. How would you? How would, yeah? How no, would you we, do it? Remember in the beginning mm-hmm. when it was shut down for real, and it was like only like a Walmart and Target were open before like bars and shit like that. You cut it off, and then what he said instead of being like, "Hey, Starbucks, we're gonna look out for you, even though you're fucking good for the next two years yeah. at least." If if the world yeah. stops, allocate the money. The, yeah, to yeah, the right you'll people. be fine, and then you just divert the money. But yeah, I was saying man. conspiracy theory was Joe writes a check, shuts down the economy for a year. Takes the blame, gets kicked out like they like they wanted to. Boom, Harris comes in, mic drop, <laughs> and then she gets three years to run. A lot of people have been saying some no, shit like that, man. man. I don't think so. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah. I'm just saying, some crazy fucking. With but, all the jokes going around, that would be that would be ideal. Be like, oh, it's Joe's fault. Joe's like, yo, you're right. I fell asleep at the wheel. My bad. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta See you go. Later. Harris comes in. What's up, bitch? Then she yeah. gets a dart in the neck, and Pelosi's in there. Word. <laughs> So, so listen so listen to this of 104 <laughs> grocery workers examined 20 had positive corona tests oh, and of weak. that group 76 percent were asymptomatic yeah i know this thing's crazy man that's fucking crazy but how are they getting the asymptomatic form of it and people other people are like getting it that's in. the scary part that's ah. the scary part i don't know it's like the study also good. reveals many of these grocery store workers are feeling the strain of the pandemic. Nearly half, 46%, are not able to practice social distancing at work. Yeah, even at home. But so, I don't even think it's social yeah. distancing, dog. I think it's the fact that nobody respects that that boundary of, like, protecting, wearing a mask. No. You still just, got people not using condoms, dog. You're right, you're you're right, but, <laughs> you're right. But the reason for that is because we live in this Damn. fucking work crazy world, this capitalistic fucking world, and we got to work. We got to fucking go, no, go, like, go. Dude. No, but they I'm not talking about the working aspect. I'm no. talking about the mass aspect of, like, people just, just don't. I saw mass. people today at Publix just walking around, not caring. Yeah, there's a lot of assholes yeah. doing so like, fucked up shit. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with them are, fucks? Yeah, exactly. Well, I said that at the very beginning of this just shit. Dumb, I said you can't account for all the people that just don't obey. I have help issues. They just, they just, yeah, the you people, try to put your finger on it just being a certain type of people, but then it's everybody. Yeah. From well, all well, walks, no, I, yeah. the, what I think of, Mike, is the people that walk into stores and open up a cap and lick the top and put the cap <laughs> oh, back on. Bro. If those people exist, which they do, obviously, because we've seen them, then, then, then this will never work. Uh, It'll never work. My stomach flipped. And then you think about the licking. people, like, you just you go in depth of how Check much your caps, craziness. people. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you hear a ks- when you open yeah, it. make you get the fizz. Yeah. Make sure you get, get the, the air coming out. Yeah, you get the air. <laughs> Got to get the air. You don't get no air coming out of it. I'm just saying, man, we're laughing, but it says the policy recommendation is that the employees and the government officials should take actions on implementing preventive strategies and administrative oh. arrangements, uh, such as methods to reduce interpersonal contact, repeat and routine COVID employee testing to ensure the health and safety of essential workers. Remember what I said about gas station service mm-hmm. people? Yeah. Same we said that at the fucking very beginning. Yeah. We and, had ideas. And we should and have it, it, I mean, you know, all the way across the board. Because, like, I work in Orange. I live in Orange County, work in Bavar. And in one county, you have to wear masks. And then another county, you don't. Yeah, as soon as you cross that border, you Gucci. So then it's like. That's a good point. It's crazy. It's, it's like but this we, is, this. it sounds like that song, This Is America. Because, yeah. check it. Perfect example. Catches. America, right? Like everybody's like too prideful. The country's too prideful, dog. They're not gonna be like it costs money. Gonna, That's what it is. But I'm saying it's though, all they're gonna about let, money. They're gonna let. Don't they're let, gonna let it wean itself out and be right. like, yo, all right, you're all right, good, you're right, good, right. you're dying, you're good. And it's gonna be like it's gonna go on as normal, just to filter it out. It's gonna take longer. But for America to accept it, to be like, yo, we fucked up, we kind of yeah, dropped but, the ball. But, but the bottom line is, happen. it's always about money because we got money for fucking Wall Street. We got money for bombs. Starbucks. Mo- yeah, dude. So. It's all. It always comes down to money, man. They'll print money if they fucking need it. Uh, lastly, let's just look at the federal minimum wage before we get out of here. Uh, it's been the exact same since the economy, the economic crash last time. Seven twenty-five is what it is. 
the federal minimum wage should be 24 an hour if adjusted for increased worker pro productivity since 1968. Meaning, if we gave our workers their fair share of profits that they generated, mm -hmm. right, the, uh, the same share that they got back in 1968, right, mm -hmm. that they would be getting 24 an hour. So, same so share of the dollar. Minimum wage. Minimum, minimum wage. 24. Damn. So, think about what we'd be fucking getting paid. It, it used to be worker productivity was tied to worker wages. That's how it used to be. Oh, yeah. But it stopped in the 1970s. And uh, I know because most of my friends in places of appointment, uh, they don't even do bonuses at those fucking companies. Florida, you know what I mean? It's fucking Florida crazy, just, dude. But Florida think just about voted that. to raise the minimum wage at 15 bucks. And yeah, but he's the saying, years. No, yeah, he's comparing, saying. He's but how do you it. stop the greedy fucks at the top from raising their prices to, not, to oh, make it out of reach for everybody? You know, oh, that's no, the problem. That's, I mean, they're not losing money. No, McDonald's is going to go up from instead like, of making a hundred billion, they're going to make you know seventy five billion. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry. And they look at oh, we're losing money. No, motherfucker, yeah, he's not, not making losing. as much. Right. Cost of living has always been going up, dude. Whether we haven't been our money hasn't been. And oh, by the way, the economy has doubled since 1970. Right. It is more than doubled. So they're making fucking double, double what they fucking were. And our wages don't even fucking move. Right. So do with that as you may. Yeah, that's billions with a B. So there's your fucking update. Uh, the numbers are spiking. One out of five grocery store workers have it. Uh, it's in the schools. They're shutting down Europe again. And it's not going away. Fucking bring me down brown, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't Damn. mean to, man. But Bro. But the worst Corona part about it, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is we don't even have a plan. Yeah, yeah that's ner <laughs> that's more that's more so nerve wracking than yeah. a number spike. Yep. It's like, oh, all right, yeah, what's happening? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> break. NFL uh, is back. We're going to get fun after this. <laughs> we'll, we'll be back. Murder in a beat. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Can't stop. Light up. Yes. A bumble cloud lighting up. Bumble yes. cloud lighting up. Welcome back. Lion Podcast. Please subscribe. How's everybody feeling? Please. Solid. Please yeah. Mm. Foundation great. Foundation should be great, <clears throat> man. Fucking love you guys. What the fuck is up? Dave Chappelle made Pete Davidson <laughs> laugh and break character in the middle of SNL skit over the weekend. Anybody watch that Saturday Night Live this weekend? Yeah. Dude. So good. That was that was a really good one. Mike, you I think you watched it, right? You, I didn't watch it live. I saw the clips. Dude, yeah. cause you yeah. After dude, hearing about him, I had to did watch it. Did you get him. to watch it, Clemmy? I watched some of the clips. Bro. I'm old man. Chip I go to sleep. I go to I fall asleep before Saturday Night Live. Chappelle's getting yeah. better. Yeah. Chappelle's getting better. Yeah. He's probably because he's feeling and comfortable. I he's yeah. always been good shit yeah. to me. No, 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 no. I'm to take nothing and That's a bold funny. statement, me saying he's getting yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bold statement. Yeah. Because he's always been a legend. Yeah. yeah. And I think, like he said, he's getting comfortable. You know what it reminds me of? Like, you know how MJ, once he didn't have his athletics, he had to go to a fadeaway and have oh, him create a yeah. whole new game? Yeah. It's like now that Dave Chappelle ain't doing his little street thing. Yeah. Now he's talking about a bunch of things that are really having an impact on society and stuff. And he's showing a versatile way of his. Because yeah. you never could make things that he talks about funny and pull the things off. Very, very <laughs> Richard Pryor like. Yeah. Very yeah. Richard Pryor like. He's, uh, a, he's a genius. At what he's he a genius, he's and a genius he's very, him. very fucking yeah. funny. But uh, I, I just, I just think that he's getting better with time. Anyway, uh, he's getting wiser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says uh, one of the best moments of the Saturday Night Live was when Chappelle was able to make Pete Davidson break character in the middle of the skit about <laughs> canceled black mascots. Uh, Chappelle played the all state state guy, and Davidson played the Count Chocula, and couldn't stop laughing when Dave started to improvise by making fun of Davidson's lips. If you didn't catch it, it's worth a listen. Check it out. I'm sorry, but it's just not working out. We have to let you go. But I'm Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Who doesn't love my pancakes? Everyone loves your pancakes, Aunt Jemima. It's you. You're the problem. Me? What did I do? It's not what you did. It's how you make us feel about what we did. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you can't fire me. I'm a slave. That's the only good thing about your job, the job security. We understand. No, you don't understand. All I ever did was make pancakes. And that's why Aunt your Mama pancakes are the fluffiest, the butteriest, mouth-watering pancakes on the shelves. The secret is, I use my own breast milk. Aunt Jemima, this is hard for us, too. We love you. And thank you for breastfeeding our children. It's because I'm a woman, isn't it? What about Uncle Ben? Oh, uh, well, damn it, woman. Don't you drag me into this mess. Look, if I'm going down, you're coming with me. Actually, Uncle Ben, she's right. Yeah, we have to let you go, too, for the same reason. But you can't do this to me. I'm Uncle Ben. <laughs> I got so many nieces and nephews to take care of. You'll be fine. Just do something else. But all I know is rice. <laughs> White rice, brown rice, wild rice, yellow rice, four cheese, basmati. Look, it's not personal, Uncle Ben. It's just we have to clean house. Come on now. We know why people don't clean their own house. Yeah, you're talking to slaves. This is ridiculous. If we can't work, how come the Allstate guy gets to work? Oh. <laughs> now, wait a cotton pick a minute, Uncle Ben. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd sell me out. It ain't personal, son. But if we getting fired, you should be getting fired, too. Yeah, yeah, fire all state guy, too. Stop calling me all state guy. <laughs> I have a name. It's Guy from Waiting to Exhale. <clears throat> well, whatever your name is, you're getting fired, too. But I'm not even a food product. I sell security. My deep black voice makes white people feel safe. Like they're in good hands. That may be so. But you're still black, and it's better to be safe than sorry. But I'm a real person. These are mere characters. If anything, why don't you fire Count Chocula? How come he's still working, huh? What? But I'm not even black. I'm made of chocolate. A likely story. Let me tell you something. These streets are gonna eat you alive, you chocolatey nigga. Don't call me that. <laughs> if he's chocolate, then I'm chocolate too. Yeah, I'm chocolate too. I don't care what you want to call yourselves. You're all fired. No, but I'm actually chocolate. I'm not black at all. <laughs> Ridiculous. Another like this story. Look at those big chocolatey lips behind them fangs. Big old fat lips. Seriously. America. Look at Pete Davidson's lips. <laughs> Maybe I got some Italian in there somewhere. Some Italian? Then we'll put you on some spaghetti, you chocolate bitch. All right, that's enough. You're all fired except for Allstate guy. Thank you very much. All right, fine. We'll leave. But remember, you made a big mistake. Mm -hmm. All right. Phyllis, send in the Land of Lakes, lady. Please. Oh, man. That that was fucking hilarious. I don't know. I don't la Too remember. Laughing. I don't remember last SNL Ooh. that I laughed that hard. I know I it's, it's been a while, man. It's been a while, dude. He killed that shit. But uh, <laughs> Pete laughed so hard he spit his vampire teeth out. Oh, thing. Yeah. Did you see that shit? He was like, dude. He could have, dude, that shit was hilarious. Mm. What the fuck is up? Job opportunity, everyone. Uh, this is out of complex. G Herbo explain is it who the fuck is G Herbo is it Herbo or Herbo Omar? Herbo. I know you know. Oh, you're you're within the game. Yes. You're you're, you're younger. And no, to answer your question of how do you pronounce it? Is yeah, it first Herbo or Herbo. yes, yeah. yes. It is what? Yes. <laughs> I know. How, say it. How it's, do you pronounce it's it? It's H E R B O. Herbo. Yeah. Herbo. I would say Herbo too. Yeah. I think because of the thing he smoked so much weed. I think it's Herbo. 
Had a moment of clarity right there. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's like, but do you know who? So you know, so you know who he is. Yeah, who, yeah. who is he? You're He's a rapper. Uh, I don't listen to him. I just know he raps. Is yeah. he? Does he got bars? Mm, uh, maybe like does prison he spit bars. hot fire? Damn. Nah, he doesn't fuck around with Dylon. Dylon. He's not Dylon. as good as Dylon. Nah. Uh, G Herbo <laughs> explains G Herbo <laughs> uh, what he needs in a full time blunt roller and how much he'll pay. In a series of posts on his Instagram stories, Herbo announced he's willing to pay someone thirty six k a year, what? about a hundred a day, to be his personal full time blunt roller. He said, uh, that's all you get because I'm letting you smoke. So uh, he, he said uh, he hates rolling his weed because of how much he smokes. I can relate. <laughs> that. 36. I can uh, relate. Uh, but let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. 36K, right, a year to, to smoke. You get to smoke for free, so that's good. You got that. It, there's a lot more perks, I'm sure, to go with. That's what I'm yeah, trying to figure. Right. Yeah. yeah. What you, do we got? Are you, you can turn it into an Instagram you gotta page. Be, because you got to be with him 24-7. You're a blunt yeah. roller. You're going right? to eat with him. Yeah. He's buying. You're eat, that's what I'm thinking. I imagine and you get some leftover. You get a place to crash. Decent looking groupies, too. Yeah. Flight, yeah. Flights. Yeah. Taking flights. care of. I like that. You're getting flights because you're, you're going everywhere. You like bubbles. You're going everywhere. You got your bubbles. <laughs> your fucking bubbles. <laughs> your G, your G bubbles. He has to fuck you too. What if he says that? What if he's like, yo, I want to fuck you too every once in a while. Dang. Shit. I thought I was just rolling blunts. That comes bro. with a 10K bonus. <laughs> yeah. You so free groceries because you're living with them. So you yeah. get to go to the family barbecues. That's always good. Groupie chicks on, you know, the extras. I'm pretty sure you get some decent looking groupie chicks. You can monetize your Instagram. Probably yeah. if he plays his cards right. If you yeah. wanna, if you wanna play it safe, you could call him Herbert. Free drinks. You could call him Herbert Wright the Third. Yeah. Better known as G Herbo. <laughs> <laughs> you call him Herbert Wright. You know, come to think about it, you might you, rappers tend to be wasteful, so you might get a lot of leftover everything, bro. Everything. Yeah. If you're if you're very you know. You're like, you hey, man. And you know, especially if you're very uh, likable. Yeah, yeah. A, li a little bit of weed on the table here, a little yeah. bit of weed. Into you guys are just going to leave this? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'll take this bottle, take this. Yeah. That shit adds up. Hey. They be like, yo, where'd you come up with all this shit? It's yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But then you could establish yourself in an industry. Yeah, like you can master your craft too as much as you're going to be rolling for this guy. And the weed industry. And then you, you can get, market your skills yeah. to another rapper. Yeah. And then with the weed Next industry, week. you know, blasting off like it is, you could just, you know, maybe come up with your own. Get your bars. You can have your own brand. Your own like brand. A blunt. A blunt. Yeah. Imagine that if your maybe. blunt roller became a better rapper than you. Hey, man. Off of yours, he just started rolling your blunts, and now he started rap the, making bars about rolling your blunts. But then the blunt roller became more. The famous and successful than G Herbo. That'd be right? yeah. That'd be Struggle City. The the <laughs> blunt was so good. I passed G Herbo. Hit that shit like Turbo. Yeah, it would be so. <laughs> yeah. It'd be so bad to be the blunt roller and like, what's your vacation days like? Right. Do you get any? You don't. Hey, he never stops smoking. That's it. See, that's the that, thing. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, what if it turns into you're in a Chinese sweatshop now because the amount of weed he smokes? You, know you didn't saying? know he was not. You smoking. need an assistant. You need to bring in your nephew or your cousin. <laughs> yeah, now you got to so bring roll your blunts. Out. Yeah, <laughs> you forgot your nephew yeah. to roll your blunts. You know that's a good point. I didn't think you about that. That could go horribly. It's an bad. internship. Yeah. yeah, and then especially like when he's in album mode. And like you're there <laughs> overnight, and you're like exhausted, and your fucking mouth is like sandpaper because you just rolled so many buzz. Right. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But see, not only you are got you got no more lick, but yeah. you're not even going to be no more lick. just rolling for him all the time. You're going to be rolling yes. for the oh, whole boy. entourage. You're right. <laughs> you can't keep up. You can't keep up. You you're going to have to stay up late when they're crashed out. You're going to have to be pre-rolled pre in, yeah. in my prime. the next day. In my prime, me and four <laughs> friends or three friends <laughs> could smoke a whole box of blunts in a night. And that's only with three or four friends. These entourages roll 20, 30 deep, dude. Yeah. So you multiply that shit. You probably be doing 100 an Bro, you probably, got, you probably got you IV him. in you <laughs> whilst rolling. Nobody yeah. even sees you. You're just back sweating yeah. in a fucking motor Who are home. you? I'm G-Hober Roller. <laughs> and, then, right. and, then you get, and then you get like the sloppy triples, seconds, fourths, fits. Uh, and then you're so tired. You're like, yo, baby, I can't even. I don't even want this. Yeah, baby, I'm tired. Look at my tongue. It looks like SpongeBob out of water. <laughs> you got a fucking hunchback. Yeah. 
paper cuts. Exactly. You know G Herbo? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> No man, that's terrible. Just too much. I feel you bad need a machine. You need a machine or something. Yeah. Some sort. I feel bad for him, man. What the fuck is up? Over the weekend, Biggie Smalls was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of wow. Fame. Wow. Yes, baby. Yeah. It was all a dream. Yo, this is my motherfucking guy. What took so long? I think it takes yeah. a while. I know. I thought he was what? already what in did there. You do Pete Rosen? What the fuck? <laughs> What the Damn. fuck are you trying to do? Keep him out forever? Hey, hey, hold on, though, man. You waiting for his new album I'm to drop? Mad. I'm not mad, though, because the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is cool for just being inclusive in the first place and just bringing everybody to the forefront. Yeah. By the way, P.S., Whitney Houston made it, too. But that's what just I'm saying. But the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is she's known. She's even longer for, than Biggie. But listen, Rock and Roll R- is. Right, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rock and Roll has always Whitney been known for being yep. open. Like the name rock and roll, yeah, where it started and came from. Right. But they expanded a long time ago. Right. Right. Well, like, so to say Biggie, it's like, are they woke now? Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, oh, yo, we heard Biggie's song. It's pretty good. Like, yeah, no shit. His own mom didn't know, though. I heard her on the uh, Breakfast Club the other day, and she was talking about, you know, how it took her so long to even realize the impact her son made in rap and, and lis- actually listen to his music and try to understand it. And uh, she, yeah, it was just till like recently, you know what I mean? Till she actually understood. Well, not recently, but till she understood yeah, so she the get impact. Yeah, she got a grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So her, it, that's it crazy. That's hit. wild though, because you you know he's yeah. big, you know he's popular, but you didn't know how popular he was. You yeah, know? popular enough that we're gonna fucking give him a shout out today, because that's the big baby. Big facts. Yes, we love him. Uh, by the way, uh, side note: Whitney Houston, best national anthem ever. Yes, yep. no, best yes, national no. anthem ever. Period. Better uh, than right. Better than Fergie. All the way oh, come on, really? All the way. No, you it, just brought Fergie to a Whitney Houston fight. You don't, you don't remember how bad Fergie did? Yeah. Oh, I oh. didn't know that. Okay. Um, Fergie was. I up thought there you were with, trying to be serious. I didn't see no. it. No, Fergie was top five worse. Fergie threw this. Actually, fucking top two, and it's not two. <laughs> hey, Whitney Houston gave the country a chance to believe again. Like. When she finished, everybody was like, you know what? We're going to fight another day. Let's go. Fergie yeah. threw the 50 cent first pitch. <laughs> yes. At the National <laughs> Anthem. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That shit was. What the fuck? That shit was for the I ages. Did, yo, I've never seen a man that size throw a pitch like that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Fiddle <Finn> did. <laughs> Just throw it. Just throw it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Like you I, don't know, sh- I don't even know how to tell you how to throw it. He got That's shot, just, you just son of a bitch. <laughs> it looks like he got shot. He got yeah. shot, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, ah, yeah, he's like, his wounds are still got, here. Like he's he's got tendon damage. He looked like when he was throwing that He's ball. actually been shot 10 times. It was that yeah. day he yeah, got the other right, bullet. Yeah. 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 That bullet just reemerged. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah, you want to see how funny Fergie was? Look at Steph in Draymond's face. All right, <laughs> Just look at that face. Oh, that's, that's live. priceless. That's live. Wow, like they're clowning. Them, they're, yeah, <laughs> that's bad. Poor because they got class too. Steph, so, would, Steph wouldn't laugh unless it was showed, really funny. I just showed Mike, funny, boy. Mike Corey and Clemmy, Steph Curry and Draymond Green got like a. Did she hit a high pitch? Oh. She hit a bad pitch. <laughs> it's like just a like, fifty cent pitch. It was, like a, I, 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 <laughs> it was a fifty cent pitch. Oh, well, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Actually, pull, yeah. you, can you pull up an audio clip of that? Oh, yeah, I don't want to get the DMC because we did Biggie already. I don't want to. Oh, my God. Out. That's fucking great. Well, we could take a break and we'll be back with it. All right. Yo, we'll yeah, do that. Been that long? We'll talk. Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Let's go. Holy Love y'all. Holy monkey. Toke break. Welcome back, everybody. How the fuck are you? Go ahead. <laughs> here so it just, is. Yeah, here Set it go. up. Found it. <laughs> and O said, yo, you know what that reminds me of? I said, what? 
He said this. <laughs> And I, I said, told dude, you that's priceless call, man. That's a good call. I told you, bro. Yeah, man. No, there was nothing worse because I was like, man, she was really feeling herself. Like I guess she in her was. vibe that she was in, like nobody could take her out of her trance. And then and, she realized she, oh she was the drunk soccer mom at karaoke, feeling <laughs> that. Yes, bro. yes, yes, dude. She was the lady that did not rehearse mm -hmm. and said shit. They and all her friends would have been like, no. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, 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 that's not your style, baby. No, that that's alone. not what you're supposed to do. Yeah, leave that alone. She leave. should not have been even there for that. No. Yeah, that she's is, not that kind of a singer, man. It was, she's it's a, so good. Really for sure, not. 100%. But that's why when you said Whitney, I was just playing. Whitney, dude, she was the... Yeah, Whitney <sighs> killed it. Whitney God. just... She changed the nation, bro. Yeah, man. We was she like going through a slump. Man. Everybody was like down. Dude, that and girl, then that girl just, had, that what year was had that? power in them fucking vocal what, cords. Was it like 98? It was either the 90s or, or... 96, 96. It had to be 90s because the bodyguard yeah. was 90s, right? That's when she really got popping. Yeah, I don't know. Look, We'll find out. She was smoking in bodyguard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a so... Bodyguard, she went, yeah, I had a little awesome. boy crush in that fucking hey. movie. I'm like, I don't even know 91. what my dick does, but 91. I... 91. Yeah, 91. I was like, I don't even know how to use my dick, but if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You know. No. She was she was amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was a she yes, was yes, a yes, talent, yes. dude. She was fucking unbelievable. Well, yeah, she was. Okay, last What about Mariah? Sorry. Oh, uh, Mariah, fan. yes. 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 She's she's oh my god. Dude, she had vocal she cords. She broke for, out. That's yeah. a good call, dude. Mariah had that Me fucking and Mariah. fire. Go yeah. back, like yeah, Mariah had that power. She's still gone. Not yeah. anymore. She did another one. I think she did something similar to Fergie, if I'm not mistaken. She had <laughs> yeah, a, she she fucked up on. She Christmas. had a fuck yeah. up. I think yeah. I don't remember. I can find it for next time, but <laughs> <laughs> I know I know Homegirl Mariah. I was like, was I'm done so looking good. up shit for you guys. No, 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 not even. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't want to waste. I'm no, finding next time. I'm down. It's easy to find. <laughs> no. I was just thinking Mariah saying so good. She would have to like block her ears from like piercing her own ears from uh, I know. That was just a gang. She could dog. break glass, I bet. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. She, that, yeah, she was hitting shit nobody yeah. ever I ever heard anybody. Especially when that fucking someday, some mm, someday, and then at the end uh, Yeah, I, I could yeah. never make my voice do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Even if you smash my nuts, my voice wouldn't do that. I don't have it. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't even do it. Uh chop them off. Okay. I still don't <laughs> Last episode, I misspoke. Um, uh -oh. The NYPD officer that killed uh, his kid is in custody, awaiting trial. Oh, okay. Doesn't Thank mean God. shit's gonna happen, but that's a good thing. Still, so, good, good, kid, good deal. Bro. Yeah. So at least good. That's a good deal. To start again. Yeah, but and also his woman was the stepmother of the kid, so that's not his real mom. Mm. All right. Uh, where is she? Sense. Where is the real mom? Um. Good question. It did not mention that. Ah, There's no weird. mention of the real mom. Yeah. That is a little weird. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not even going to spend. No mm -hmm. speculation there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, on to the next thing. Also, last episode, I brought up Zimmerman uh, signing Skittle bags. Uh, this is, I did not misspeak on. Y'all mm -hmm. clown me on that shit. Y'all No, laugh we made me. fun of you because it was sadly real. I don't believe yeah. him, yo. I didn't. I don't I know didn't. why, but I don't. <laughs> I believe him, yo. Yeah. I don't know why, but I do. So, uh, no, but I looked it up. He carried packs around with him, actually. Not only did he sign Skittle bags, but he carried actual packs around with him. He's like... That's sick, sad. That's, that's a fucking psychopath. Yeah. That's, it, he called it a party trick when he did it. He did. He, he called a it. Party a, trick. He called it a party trick. He even signed Confederate flags and shit like that. They got, wow. they got pictures of him signing tons of them. So, uh... He actually, yeah, man. So uh, mm, look at my John Zimmerman pack of Skittles and my flag. Look, yeah. look at me. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to make. I didn't want to make this real dark, but I just want to bring it up that you say that. Sense. Yeah, that that we. Like, what would you get out of that? But I guess, I guess somebody, well, somebody enjoyed it. He was taught. Well, I thought about this. I was, I was thinking about this, and and I thought about it. And what's crazy to me is he was talking to the 911 operator, right? He said these assholes always get away. Those were his words. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. He was profiling a dude. He had no idea who he was, right? right? Right off the fucking bat. When you were referred to a random black dude walking through a neighborhood as an asshole, yeah. you you end up killing him moments later with your gun. The system is not flawed. The system is evil, man. Mm-hmm. And, and he proved to you. He signed, he signed Skittle bags. He's, he sold the gun, yeah. and he for like two hundred fifty thousand or some shit like that. And he's and he and he, and he went around. If people, it said in the article that if people were polite to him, he'd open up and pull out a skittle bag and sign it and start talking about whatever. So, Who's more sick and twisted, Zimmerman, or the people that are paying I'm money for this shit? Thing. Yo, I was thinking that, dogs. In my head, I'm I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, who's Ooh, wrong? Yeah. Or is there, is there I'll tell you one what's wrong. Party? What's <laughs> no, wrong hey, who? is Walmart fun, funds fucking Alec, the American Legislative Executive Council that enacts these laws, which the the stand your ground law, uh-huh. and they fund this shit. They get these laws enacted that way. Walmart buys tons of fucking guns for for safety. Uh, so it's all fucking. It's all hustle, man. So those are the real the evil motherfuckers. Never stop. Right. Those are the true <laughs> evil motherfuckers. The ones that fund it all the way at the top. So. Dang, bro. The powers that be, if you will. But that, that's the shit you shouldn't let yourself forget right there. Yeah. That's the shit that sticks in my fucking head. That kind of shit. And, that, and that's why I said brought it up when I said fucking he signed Skittles. Because, dude, that kind of shit sticks in my fucking head. Yeah, that is one of those things where you be like, wow. Right. It's, yeah, because, I mean, at that party, do you be like, hey, yo, don't you think that's a bit much? Right now, but, don't you go yell, get punched in your face? And that's yeah, a, <laughs> yeah. And, I wouldn't even. Yeah, you'd be too polite yeah. with that one. And that's probably. another thing. All this bad backlash on the black community and how bad they are. How come nobody did nothing, to Zimmerman? Hey, that's what I'm saying. We ain't as bad as because I mean, if if you was gonna off somebody, yeah, saying. how's he still above ground? Hey, exactly. Just saying. Yeah, we need a black justice league. Hey man, I want to sign up, but. No. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> ne- next like episode. Shit. Next Clemmy episode. Wants to be, Clemmy wants to be. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. You want to be the man in the chair, Clemmy? <laughs> yeah. Running yeah. all the time. Wants to turn around slowly. <laughs> <laughs> just get him. <laughs> <laughs> just want to know where are oh, the yeah. where are the sharks with dog, the lasers? Bro, I love you, Clemmy. You got the next next file ready. Here's yeah. our next case. I I believe him, yo. <laughs> no, I like it, Justice though. League. Anyways, uh, what the fuck is up? Washington Post reports Candace Owens, oh, my favorite, announced she had filed for a lawsuit against independent fact checkers for defamation. (laughs) I'm sick of censorship, she says. So Uh. the lawsuit cites two Facebook posts where Miss Owens suggested the number of deaths caused by COVID-19, the disease the coronavirus causes, was being manipulated or inflated. Her lawyers argue one post was trust or substantially true, and the other contained opinion and was not interrupted or interpreted by reasonable readers to convey actual statements of fact. So, yeah, go. That's the sticky slope of censorship. It says the the post remains reviewable on Facebook, and uh, they are accompanied or hidden by warning labels stating that the independent fact checkers have found them to be false and refer them to articles containing explanations. Oh, yeah. Well. So that's what you'll find. Lawyers for Miss Owens say that Facebook stopped for uh, her from monetizing her account on the social media surface shortly after those posts and uh, finds the fact checkers to blame. Oh, poor woman. Oh, she so she couldn't monetize her platform there, so oh. She hated on black people so bad, even white people stopped her from doing it. Hey man, yeah. <laughs> she said some more that, stuff. To to reach out to, to sue. Yeah. That seems like a Karen moment. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hundred percent. Go on Facebook. That's just somebody that's part of the circus. Yeah. That's how they get the paycheck. It says her attorneys are alleging she is losing approximately one million on a, a month in Facebook revenues. Holy shit! Oh, maybe she baby, got, can you afford to lose as much as I'll never make? Yeah, okay. All right. Miss Owens yeah, we'll is go. seeking fifty million in damages. <laughs> For what? She don't even make that much, but she wants that much. Is she making that much? Bro, it's, you know how much <laughs> that's like trying to fuck outside of your house. Yeah, you know why I hate that bitch? Dang. Because hey. I want to see her naked. Hey, what? <laughs> she turns you on? She's hot. Oh. 
Damn. You don't think so, Clemmy? No. No, man. I know. Not nah, trust me. I don't like her. No, but I, I don't just... fucking like her. She's all about bullshit. But god damn it. She's hot. She's hot. Right. She's fucking hot. If you're into that kind of, you know. I'm not into that. I would never date her. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you're into self hatred, then you have at it. Mm. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're I think you're selling out right now, Clemmy. She walked in the room right now, bro. You'd be nice to her. You'd be all friendly. I'm yeah. nice to yeah. She'd be smelling good and shit. Clemmy would be respectful. She'd be smelling good. I'm always respectful to women. She'd be like, Clemmy, you remind me of one of my cousins. And then then you'd be like, oh, really? And you'd start talking. And she'd give you a big hug and wiggle that petite body against you. Like a little quick squirrel. (laughs) (laughs) Violating all kinds of social distancing. Hey, man. Clemmy walk in and be like, yeah, cousins. Like like second cousins, right? (laughs) (laughs) You're like second cousins. She'd be wearing some stuff smelling like better than Corey stuff. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. See, you smell Boom. better than saying you're easily swayed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, she be wearing a turtleneck. It's a spell, man. <laughs> Coming in here looking all good. <laughs> telling you, man. I don't know, man. You hey. never know, man. You Working never know. Charms, hey, you man. promise me you'll never say that again. <laughs> She's a Jedi, man. She could do like. <laughs> Not Clemmy. Go. Clemmy's closing line. You ain't gonna sue me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I go to church, man. Yeah. Power to the people, yo. I'm a church man. I'm, I'm a good I believe one. him, yo. <laughs> I don't know why. What the fuck is up? Uh, this is from Clutch Points. Tyler Hero's single emoji reaction to Kataya Elise Henry's latest thirst trap. Did you guys see uh, this mm-hmm. off Twitter? Who yeah. gives a fuck? And what, what is that? It's hot. <laughs> Pull her up. What's her name? What? She's an absolute Ooh. smoke show. How would you uh, I don't even one, know what you just said. How would one spell that? Emoji My, Miami whammy Heat. fucking so-and-so fucking. It's <laughs> just a fucking article, dude. Miami Heat guard Tyler Hero once again flexed a strong emoji game on Friday, offering his cryptic response to a girlfriend, Kataya Lee Henry's latest thirst trap post online. The 20-year-old sharpshooter couldn't help but react to the Instagram model's short, voluptuous assets and her sultry assemble. Halloween may be over, but Miss Henry is not done playing dress up. Do How do we spell that last you pull name? Pull her up yet? You didn't get it yet? I got the first name. Kataya. K A T Y A. Oh, K A T. Elise. Yeah, he's got her. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, let me see. Now Mike's in. He's like, oh, this is what we're talking about. Yeah. So, uh, what I wanted to say was. So he goes back, right? Her, her man retreated the post. Tyler retweeted the post, captioned by a cold face emoji. So what does that mean, Omar, when he sends a cold, cold face emoji back? Like, that's cold. Like, baby, cold. Really? Yeah, it's shooting, because be shooting a shot. They're suggesting that it means, uh, he means chill that's, out that's with the your t- latest seductive posts. Like, calm down. Nah, because if, like, just picture picture someone's to me. To Would you let man? That'd be hard, man. You got your girl. Just like, let her post. Hey, man. Picture let her post. Picture hey, picture man. someone sending That's you. That's the way it's supposed to be. Hey, picture man. picture someone She's sending you something. Model, someone sending you something nice, right? Sneakers, um, a jersey, a nice ass. Yeah, you're like, damn, that's cold. That's yeah. with the emoji. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. The I fact, think that makes more that, sense. The fact that they're saying it like they're just that, trying to sell the article. Yeah. They're just trying to fucking uh, gaslight it. Yeah. Ha ha, you like that? Yeah. I like that reference? I I like that. that? Okay. Um, Well, I think that's uh, cool. You know she date. She used to date Kyle Kuzma, so she's, she's an Instagram tra- model. Yeah, she's she an Instagram she's model. That's that's what she does. Yeah, man. That's what she does. She just posts pictures of her ass and fucking gets paid for it. Hey, that's fucking a life. And, and, Could you and, imagine being hey, so and hot? Then NBA players come like do the rest of your life. So yeah, you get paid off that Instagram. Yeah, thing. you just be like, I'm done eating ice cream with you. Yeah. I'm gonna go eat some ice cream with this motherfucker Choo-choo. and take some Choo-choo. of his money. Spend, I want to spend his money. Dang. Damn, just because you take good pictures. Mm. Ah. It's Money. like Leonardo DiCaprio when he bites his fist. Ah, yeah. Can't take it. Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> when he's trying to tell him to stop telling the secrets. He's like, he's like, they shave it. It's all uh, bald. He's like, they shave it. It's all bald. It's all bald, bald pops. They don't even, they, they, there's nothing. It's bald. It's really bald down there. It's like, I was okay with the bush. <laughs> he's like, I was okay with the bush. 
No, nah, but uh, but that's that's different though. You think he could live with that mentally? Because dude, it's one thing you got to be mentally strong. Physically, uh -huh. you got. He's not. By the way, Tyler Hero ain't hitting that right. Why he said that? Cause look at how physically fit she is, and he's little skinny white boy from Kentucky. No, nah, bro, that dude's an NBA mm -hmm. basketball player. He ain't hitting that world right. class athlete. <laughs> he ain't hitting it right. He a he world class right. athlete. She's he's a man Instagram. of buns and braids, man. She's an Instagram model. You know what that means? Pro professional fucker. He's in hey. over his head. Hey, dang. She be fucking like he be shooting hoops. Dang. Yeah. Hey, at least she working on the jump shot. <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's like classy porn. I don't know, bro. Dang, that's. A hell of a way to look at it, right? That's a lot. No, you got to stay strong physically and mentally. I don't think he's got it. So, yeah, dang, well, I mean, look at all the careers could Kardashians ruined. <laughs> that's hey, man. You know what I mean? They still looking for Kanye, man. I'm saying <laughs> that, that <laughs> list is Kanye. That li <laughs> Kanye <laughs> is looking for Kanye, man. Yeah, but that list that list is still growing through man. her siblings. Yeah, mm. that list yeah. is still going. They're ruining careers. Just stay tuned. Anyway, all right, we're on. Oh, all right, I got to say something. Okay. I got to say something. This is bold. I want the hot. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay. I believe. Okay. <laughs> I believe. Frank Gore. Okay. Should be recognized as one of the toughest sports players in the history of sports. Yeah, I get it. I'm with you. I'm with That's you. easy. Yeah. You're not getting I, an argument yeah. from me. I think, I think he's 37. Yeah. It's uh, a 16-year veteran. He's had nine 1,000-yard seasons. Yeah. Five-time Pro Bowler. Yeah. Your average career of an average running back, if you're lucky, is three to four years. Yeah. 16 years. And he was productive. And he's productive. Yeah. That's a lot. 16 years at the most violent position in the game, folks. Frank Gore. And he came out on two busted knees. He 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 plays for the love of the game, and that's yeah. why I appreciate him so much, man. There's, he's, it's a rare breed that people like that come out and they give their all because that's a brutal ass that's position, a, dude. Running back thinking. is a fucking brutal position. You're running into a wall every fucking play. Yeah, you just keep fighting. Three to four. Think about that. Three to four years, the average career of of a of a good quality running back without losing both your knees. Yeah, yeah. Most of them don't make it that long. He done it plus. All right, we're going on to quality topics. Like it or not, everybody, you ready? Okay. All ding, right. ding, ding. A heavyweight boxer, Alexander Flores, was beaten in 46 seconds, uh, is having his salary withheld after authorities said that he uh, lost, uh, the way he lost, raised some questions. Did any of y'all see that, like it or not? No. No. I didn't see it. What uh, was his name? Uh, Alexander Flores, he got beat by Lu Luis uh, Ortiz. Um, I don't like it because, it, I mean, if you get knocked out, you just get, you can't, unless he, like, went in there and, like, stuck his chin out and got knocked out then. That's, yeah. That's something different. But if a dude catch you slipping, I mean, you well, can't, you. No, I saw it. It's pretty weak. Oh. Dude, right. he, he got caught. I've never seen nobody take a dive like that on a body shot. I'm not going to lie, man. It was a body shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. He, he, he. He caught him down here, and like the dude just fell. Yeah, but that hmm. liver, that liver shot be dropping everybody. It's hot, yeah, dude. But it yeah. wasn't that hard. It Mickey Ward like, used to do that to people. But it didn't even. Once you see the punch, though, you're you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It doesn't it doesn't look that hard. Like it's legit. Like one of the weakest things I've ever seen. Yeah, we, I'm it makes me think that he had to go take a shit or something. What were the odds on that fight? I mean, what? Yeah, okay. I know who's favored. I think Luis Ortiz was a favorite. He's a heavyweight. I think. Hmm. I'm not sure to be honest with you, Mikey. I'm out here right now watching it. Oh no! Uh, Clemmy said. Clemmy uh, 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 said Sam Darnold to the Patriots. Now that they are out of position to draft their quarterback, is likely, like mm. it or not. I like it. Yeah. Why not? You know. Flacco can have the Jets. <laughs> hey man, he almost pulled that. I know shit that's what I'm there. saying. They like almost, <laughs> they almost did it. They deserve that too, man. They deserve that win. Darnold obviously isn't a fit for the Jets. Man. Yeah, you think you think he went three and out on purpose at that last drive? Who Flacco? Or Flacco Darnold? lit it up the whole game, and then the last drive he just threw three into the ground like shit nothing, dude. It wasn't in there. 
I don't think he Man, did. Bill Belichick. Paramin. No Flacco. He had the connection with Paramin going what, all what, night. But at the same time, Bill Belichick, no Flacco. He been, <laughs> he been stopping the man for a long time. That's why they got rid of him. I'm just him saying, dude. I'm just, just being honest. I think they want that pick. Yeah. I think dude. they want that draft pick. Uh, mm. Throw it into the ground. 0-9. Oh Why not? Yeah, we got to lose. Yeah, if we win this game, yeah. We but, just showed them we could win and we you, lost at the very get, end. If you get the dude from Clemson and with the same team, Did you watch he's the not going to be no better yeah. than Sam Donald. You dad. know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I was He was dad. consistent the whole game. Outside of the pocket, throwing Maybe they're looking yeah. two years down the road. They'll let Flacco have another one. Yeah, <laughs> and no, way that could build dude, a team. was he was like laughing and smoking, joking casually at the at the end of the game. He's like, right. he didn't give a fuck. He didn't shit. give a fuck. Yeah, he didn't. Thank yeah. you. And I, I didn't, didn't notice that. Of, and I and now yeah. that I thought about it, he was. That he was laughing. He was relaxed. Play. Get the kid from Clemson. Let Flacco play for another year. Play him nothing. Let the kid from Clemson chill. Yeah. Learn to you build. You get enough offense alignment and wide receivers. Then turn him loose in two years. Yeah. Fuck it, right? Yeah. Sam Donald. Hey. Maybe that even coach even had that plan. Like, look, we're going to go flex our muscles and sh- beat them fucking up and down this field and show them we're better of better of team. Yeah. But, but at Mc the Day, end, but we're going to throw the ball on the ground three times and hope they make that long-ass field goal. Because they <laughs> almost lost it for themselves. They wasted all that fucking they, clock. They who? Cam. Cam Newton. Okay. He, he, he fucking uh, wasted all that time when they got it down to eight seconds. They wasted like a whole play. And they had a timeout. They could have burned that timeout and, and saved yeah. all that clock. Anyway, fucking, they barely made it, man. It was like a long ass field goal to barely win the game. So, yeah. Yeah. I just thought it was funny how uh, the consistency of Flacco yeah. was perfect all night. And then at the very end, when they needed the last drive to go, he's got two minutes on the clock, plenty of time, two minute drill. Oh no, three in the ground, three and out. He went three and out. He didn't even complete and a laughed ball about it and laughed about it. Hey. Well, maybe. What well, they're 0-9. And they're 0-9. Well, well they're 0-8. Yeah. It's like, but why, like, why stress say? over that one win? Hey, hey, but uh, if you're going to win, uh, winning is the Patriots. No, no, it matters yeah, because if you want yeah. that first pick. But but my point is, what do you say without saying it? You say, hey, Joe, go get him. Yeah. Hey, Joe, we covered the spread. You say, shucks. No, no, no. What do you tell, <laughs> do you say like, no, what do you tell like, Joe yeah. when he's going out there? Like, oh. Like, hey, Joe, run that Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> no, they call it the Trevor Lawrence play. <laughs> hey Joe, we we fans of Clemson. Joe, go get him. Yeah, go Slap him on the tra- ass. Trevor Lawrence on one. Hey. <laughs> Run that Trevor, Trevor, Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Dude, hey. Kill. 2021. <laughs> TL, TL. 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 <laughs> it would be crystal clear if they did. I know. It would be, it would be on the whole The whole defensive line just starts cracking up. Yeah. You know what this son of a bitch said? He said Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. He said run the Trevor Lawrence. On three. On yeah. three. So hey, I just hey, threw a three into the ground. I yeah. said, fuck it, three and out. Why am I even out here? I know. Punt this bitch away. We're yeah, when he was thrown, he's like, first round draft pick. Because yeah. <laughs> honestly, they weren't even trying to dead draft some draft clock or nothing, nothing, man. No, but they were trying to win in the beginning. No, but when he had the two minutes with no, Flacco I know, with the but three I'm, and out. I'm saying to, to wrap yeah. it up, I agree with you. They were winning. Yeah, the it was, they were playing it was hard. But what was the spread on that game? That's a better question. Cause I they, check. Yeah, they covered they it. they covered the spread. They covered it. Then it's like Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Trevor like Lawrence. Said, Trevor hey man, Lawrence. Run that Trevor. Run and that when, Trevor hey, Lawrence, like, motherfucker. Hey, comes play, we go. We got a chance to beat him. If they cover the spread, it makes even more sense. Hey man, that'd be. Hey. It makes even more sense if they cover the spread, which they did, obviously. That's they had to. It's probably it was like that Patriots. Close? Yeah. yeah, it's probably Patriots three and a hook or some shit like that. Yeah. I wow. would think. I would think the Patriots are like two or three. Yeah. But with, but do you ever think like even with. Like as much gambling is this year, more and I probably think it's probably even more so because there's a lot more people home watching the games. Oh yeah, there's gonna be degenerates oh. fucking. <laughs> they're playing lotto all kinds of ways and shit. Like I need it. The more you need money, the more you get uh, uh, thinking that you're obsessive yeah, over man. hitting something big. Yeah, bro. and I'm telling you, man, it never happens. You'll never yeah, hit. Like, You'll never hit. Save thing. your fucking money. Thank me later. Just save your money, and every day, what keep track of how much money you save that you would have spent on lotto. Yeah. And watch mm-hmm. in a year or two, you're gonna go, holy shit! You already hit the job. I got right. money, right? Yeah. I'm I'm winning lotto as I go. So, that was the first like it or not? Yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> what else we got? 
Colin Cowherd suggests, based on nutritionists, training available, etc., we need to rethink the average athlete's prime condition and when they are in the prime. In other words, like in other words, it's what twenty eight mm-hmm. years old right now. Mm-hmm. Like it or not, I like it because I think he's right. I think nutrition has changed the game. You know, these athletes. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting take. Yeah, I mean, um, Russell Wilson spent a million a year just in that health and recovery, a million dollars a year. Yeah, just from just I think that's what they said LeBron's been yeah. on his trainer too, wow. yeah, or some yeah. shit like that. So that's what you know. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's cool because I think it's just a brilliant point. I would think. What, what do you think the age would be right now? For what? Uh, the prime condition. Colin Cowherd suggests based on nutritionist training available, etc. We need to rethink our average athlete's prime condition in in a certain sport or all. Yeah. I mean, because I think it's different for it per sport. You know? yeah, no, 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 no. Basketball is different than football. Well, well Brady's forty three, but, yeah, but he's a quarterback. But he can't be a forty three yeah. no, year old. We, yeah, have true to that. Go, true if that. We have to go Running general, back. True that. No, maybe. If we have to go general, John Riggins, twenty five to twenty seven. Yeah, Frank Gore is thirty seven. But it correlates Still too running. with the evolution of the game and the speed of the game but now too. Sports, you know, a twenty-five to twenty-seven-year-old yeah. in soccer, you would take a twenty-five to twenty-seven-year-old baseball player, you would take twenty-five to twenty-seven basketball. So what's the new yeah. prime but, for basketball? Well, let me well, and the physical yeah, together. Tight. Yeah, yeah, tight. As good as it's going to yeah. get, right? But typically, they compare that to twenty-eight years old because that's when a male right. is in their prime condition to like accelerate at their peak condition. I that's guess why I'd say were. twenty-five to twenty-seven. Because you're still young enough, but you've been in the game longer because kids are getting drafted in the NBA early, basketball early. College is still, you get three, but you get drafted at 19, right? So you get like five years before 25. Right. You get a few years. I so, think. so like. And that's top athletes. So, shit, if I'm going 25 time. to 27, I'm going to say 20 fucking six then. Yeah. Because you don't know what the fuck it is now. Because you got people like Frank Gore and LeBron and Brady doing uh, yeah. doing shit that robots like robots. You know, it's like crazy. so what? It, you know what? Where is that measuring stick? Where do you put that number? Where you know a prime condition would be for? Because I hear like UFC LeBron. fighters they say thirties prime, and that seems old because you've wow. been fighting. Yeah, yeah. twenty nine thirty, and that's getting your head busted, son. Yeah. So that's why I'm going twenty. Six. Could you imagine training for fights and like like working your ass off just to get your ass whooped and realize that ain't for you? <laughs> and like, yeah. God damn, it you, took off. you was really feeling good about yourself. Yeah, right. going in. I I worked five years at this just to get my ass beat one good time and yeah. just say nah, this ain't you for me. You know what? Somebody like Anderson Silva on the A. Yeah, game. just kick, kick. You're in trouble. Be like the great white hype. No, yeah. fuck boxing. I'm going back to play rock and roll in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> one punch so this is from uh fan cited uh-huh. okay so it goes uh fans and pundits of mixed martial arts generally believe that the age uh a fighter hits their athletic prime is somewhere between 27 to 32 so uh-huh. i said 30 but i was a little bit off the body is done developing at its strongest during uh this peak and then it goes on beautiful but that's why i would say i said i said 27 I said 26. Uh, yeah, you did say. I think you said 27 to 32, I think you said. Yeah. I think you did because say that. I could be tripping, but I think you did. No, I would say I said 27. 27. I said 25 to 27. That's just in sports, not fighting. Yeah. Then, like, a fighting aspect, they say the closer you get to 30 is because you've been through the ringer. Right. That you built yourself tough. You built yourself wise enough. Right. And mm-hmm. that's 30. So I would say And that's the thing, too. You're in a physical too. condition at 28, but where's right. your mental condition that's at true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. when you get there? And how aligned are those two? In two years, I have a whole lot of what, wisdom. Right. So a lot was made of Brady's lack of weapons during the final uh, years in New England. Bree seemed to hint at that at the post-game comment. He said, I don't know, because he had all of his weapons on the field, too. Bree said that with a smile and he, uh, when he was asked uh, what happened to Brady Sunday night, like it or not. Uh, Mike. Uh, well, he had all his weapons, but I don't know. I mean, did the Saints defense just bring it? Too much pressure for Brady to handle? I think mm. we think that was That's the key factor question. in the loss. Yeah. No, I just think it was and all just, the interceptions. <laughs> just yeah. bad. It was Coaching. a bad outing, yeah. man, all the way around. Bad plan. It just caught the caught better on a good night for a bad game. The Saints got their the Bucks number though this yeah. year too. I'll go. I'll go. I think 
definitely they got their number because the chemistry is something in football that means so much based off the 11 people on yeah. the field. Like, that speaks by itself. That's, that's self-explanatory. So, what you saw last night was that. You and saw that- a team that exposed somebody, and when – when you go three and out a couple times to somebody yeah. like Drew Brees, mm-hmm. you can't do that. And then last He'll score on you, and he's gonna put points up every yeah. time. And last week I was like, yeah, you find yourself it's in a gonna be the Bucks chance to beat them and like kind of settle the score, but right, nah. not even close. And, it was, and so uh, that hinders ugly. their chance. Do, do you think like that hinders their chance to no make it I, to the Super Bowl? No, the Bucks. No, okay. Bucks they're gonna, gonna play beat. again. This helped yeah. them. This is gonna help them. So? They needed this. Okay. They needed this, dude. They needed a fucking humbling because because yeah. now you saw what they did when they lost to the Bears. What yeah. they do to Green Bay when they bounce back. Yeah. Same thing's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I'm not nervous about it. It's just a reality check. Right. Like, they, like dude, hey, they you guys better block you. your ass off. You better run around good. Right. Brady, bring your A game. Nothing's handed to you. Right. So I also read somewhere that the last time New Orleans beat the Saint New Orleans. Beat the Bucks twice. The Bucks uh-huh. won the Super Bowl. Wow! Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. Interesting. Mm. It's a hell of a stat, right there. That's, that's a plot thinking kind so of that's stat. That's a stat of the oh, day. Yeah. Yeah, that's a stat of the day. Okay. Um, well, yeah, man. So I don't. I mean, it's a it's a great comment, but I think yeah. that that they're gonna be all right. I think at the end of the day, Brady's gonna get them under control. Look, this is what I saw. It was a rainy day. Uh-huh. All day. AB's first game out there. He didn't fucking ha- he didn't he even look him. Mike Evans way. His AB presence just I mean, I don't him. even know what the fuck Mike Earl. Evans was doing. Locker so room's when, already cursed. Well, the reason I say that is because you got AB and Mike Evans running around out there and I, and Mike Evans was <laughs> Mike Evans was fucking Talking. open and hey, shit. this is my route, A B. No, this is my new route. Like, Hey man, you know we gotta we gotta. So there was obviously some chemistry issues that yeah. they gotta work it's out. Kinks. It's gonna be okay. It's kinks. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. All right. Same post game. Jameis Winston got behind Breeze at the end and held up the <laughs> W sign and started eating his W's again. Oh, oh, God, God, God. No. Such a dick writer. Oh, uh, like it or not. Oh, he's such a dick writer, man. <laughs> It's like anything for attention. Like he knows, obviously, that the media knows that he played for the Bucks. Yeah, he's on the winning team that just won. But you didn't, yo. You literally Mm -hmm. came in and you had snaps, and you get you got that hype that you got snaps against the Bucks just to hand it off against your former team. Yeah, and you did nothing positive, bro. It's like relax. Yeah, like we get it. You used to play for them, but it's okay, man. Just right. learn from Breeze and come back. Right. Bro, you don't need you don't need the spotlight when You're lucky the other quarterbacks here. throwing. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Like it or not, Clemens. I don't like it because it's like, bro, you you were not a factor in the game. Right. I see if they was holding a presser with you because you came back in. But don't like, you like it because he is who we thought he was anyway? Hey, no. Nah. And he's gone now. He's not I, our problem. I, I don't. I don't like it because I I, I feel like some. He when, is your problem. Yeah, because when <laughs> when Jameis when I feel like it, when Jameis landing if he with the right coach, he can be serious. Uh, uh, I'm not. I don't think so. I don't like him. No. Uh, Mike, hey. like it or not, he is. I don't like it. I don't like it. Just I don't like it because you know for all the above, he didn't yeah. contribute. He's uh you know riding the coattails, you know photo bombing the Drew Brees interview. Yeah. Fuck he, that. He he already That's showed a punk us. Move. He yeah. already showed Immature. us. Immature. Yeah. Not not Still. NFL. Yeah. And I don't and I don't like <laughs> I, I don't like it. I don't like him, or I mean, I don't like it either. Uh, <laughs> for, dude, tell he, us how you really feel, dude. That dude's a punk, man. He he's legit somebody that seems like he's always getting in trouble, man. Until he changes, that that's not ever gonna change. Maturity dude. issues. Yeah. When you got maturity issues, dude, I've had them. So I know, I can identify. <laughs> like I recognize that back I when I was a rookie. Yeah, I look for it in everybody now. Yeah. That's why I go after Cam a lot. I'm like, <laughs> hey, what's going on here, man? Yeah, Come on, yeah. Man. yeah. I watch him, and I and I because I know, man, that shit takes a lot of work. It's hard. You got to work on yourself every day. That's why you love LeBron. <laughs> He's the maturest. Yeah, love, love. Yeah, man, so much love. No, but it is hard, man. It's yeah. hard to. 
do that every fucking day. <sighs> like Brady, man. Just wake up just and be blinded. Mr. Nice Guy. Come on, man. And then be a competitor, all-time ultimate competitor at the same time. That shit's hard, man. That's a hard balance, dude. Yeah, lion and a wolf. Fuck, man. Herd's, <laughs> Herd's new hierarchy has Ravens third, Steelers second, and Kansas City first. Like it or not. Oh. First? Yeah, Kansas, Kansas City first. Kansas City first, Steelers second, and Ravens third. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think they're just riding the wave of a great quarterback. It seems like he changes it every week. It's like it was, I think Green Bay was up there once. Tampa was at number one. Yeah. Tennessee was up there. He just flip flops all all every week. There's no point in doing the hierarchy every week. It is. I mean, it's, well, no, it's no, right. No, 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 yeah. no, no, right? No, 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 no. You right? have to. Weekly. You have to. Because it's weekly. It changes. I'm just a disagreeing. But I'm saying, team. but the way they're changing so much. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's even a better reason to yeah, do it. Yeah, because I mean, not because mm. yeah, it's new information. Yeah, in a week, the, 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 another. Yeah, but it's spe- more one. speculation, though. I agree. Than with it the is number new one, information, but not the two and the three. Yeah, and and then the more it rotates, the more it turns from information to speculation because yeah. it's not like anybody's concrete up there. Yeah. You're not talking about nobody for real. Yeah. Anybody at any I given like, time I, could get I, whooped. I, I like it, yep. but I'm with Mike. The two and the three. Number one, I could see that the Chiefs. But two and three, the Steelers ain't like blew nobody out where you'd be like, oh, right. they coming for you. Right. And then, like we said, it looked like they shrunk the Poor playbook. Niners. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Garoppolo, Niners. hey man, Garoppolo just missed to get hurt. But, um, I mean, and then, Shit like we was talking earlier, it looked like they shrinking the Ravens playbook, not expanding it. Mm. So, I mean, that's, that's hard. So, how, so what, what's going to be the outcome of that? I think they're doing it for a reason. I think he, I mean, I don't think he's regressing. I think he's getting. Is that a sign of regression? No, not at all. Not at all. It's just sure a modification enough. to what they're doing. Yeah, it's just a modification because, I mean, he. Could be a I don't think system. He, I don't they think almost he, lost to the Colts. And he, I don't think he can last running like that. I mean, even though he's not getting hit. Right. It's just a matter of time for us. He started. didn't look very good at the so, beginning of the Colts. Colts have game. what, the number two defense? Yeah, the Colts got a mean, mean defense. They don't like you're yeah, talking about that's a tough game. top two defenses in the league. But bro. but he's super fast and, and I thought well, that he you was face the number two defense and you win. And you done play and everybody done play him more than one time, bro. It's the NFL. Yeah, you're right. I am. Well, I just wish he put a bigger number because he's my goddamn fantasy quarterback and he hasn't done shit. And I'm <laughs> fucking a, losing because that motherfucker. That's personal with you. That's part. That's better. Now that's not. That's, that's not better. Fuck. Yeah. What's up? What you got next? All right. So, so is everybody else like it or not? The Kansas City one, Steelers uh, I, two, well, Ravens three. Not all. Like I don't. I agree with the number one, but not the two and the three. No. You're, you're not considering the Bills, the Titans. I mean, who uh, else can you name? The, Saints. The Saints. The Saints. I mean, yeah, the Saints. Even the Bucks when they playing like they supposed to. I I, I will go. Uh, I'll say I I'm with Mike except for I disagree on three and not one and two. I I'll keep one and two, but three is definitely could be any fucking body. Yeah, three could be any fucking body. Yeah. You think the Steelers are for real though, huh? They're undefeated. I, I want to know, but you know what I mean. I mean, I got to give them no, something for that. No. I, but I don't know. They just, nope. I get the feeling they're gonna blow it though. They nope. had a big week poo poo schedule at the beginning. There was like three. So, so you mean the Cowboys too? That's all right. That's a whole another conversation. Yeah, keep going. Go ahead. That's no, fair. but they beat the Titans when they were both five and zero. Um, and, and, and and who? And That's there's good. a stat that says whoever wins that game every year, five and zero versus five and zero, goes on to win a hundred percent of the time in the Super Bowl. That's mm. that's something crazy too. Even though this would be the year that that doesn't happen because there's so <laughs> much ta- there's so much talent. Yeah, yeah. so much talent. Everybody's throwing the, the ball. shittiest team or what you think is the shittiest team can beat the. But it wouldn't. Best team. I'll say it like this: It wouldn't surprise me if the Steelers won the Super Bowl. Yeah, wouldn't they're surprise me. The, yeah, they're in the. Ga- they're in the. Surprise, I'll put it to you like this: Surprise me if they win. They got the, a good the, team. the reason <laughs> you know what it is, Mike. The reason I give them so much love is because they are complete. Yeah. That's what I see when I see them. I see them, they, they don't have many holes to expose them. It, so, they're so complete, they're kind of boring. Bro, you can't be almost complete yeah. and almost lose to the 
fucking Cowboys on their ninth string quarterback. It happens, but they won, and that's a sign of a good team but that they've doesn't had, let those trap games get them. Yeah. They're not all solid wins, though. I mean, they've that's, they've, that's they've, that's they've, they've, they've won because that's of missed field that. goals. Yeah, the, 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 difference, yeah. the difference between a trap game is you don't look at whether how much they won by. You look at if they got out of that trap alive <laughs> or not, and they won uh, that uh, fucking game. A win's game. a win, yeah. And that's I a mean, sign of a good team. So I don't pick against them. That's all I know. Yeah, mm. it's hard to pick yeah. against them. Yeah, you ain't gonna pick against them. I, hey, I'll, <laughs> I'm the one that pick, I'm the only one that picked Wait, them against the yeah. Ravens. Nope, I uh, didn't pick against them, and I'm still losing. Yeah. Anyway, all right, back to news. <laughs> he brought himself up to bring him down. <laughs> I picked him. <laughs> all right, still, still getting still my ass kicked. <laughs> I'm still stuck in track. <laughs> A new study claimed psilocybin therapy is four times more effective than antidepressants. Like it or not, Mike? I like it. Yeah. I believe him, yo, because uh, you know I've, I've heard a little bit back in the day, and then uh, you know it, it has it, it maybe was a gateway to some uh, you know life changing moments. Oh, right. For me, I remember mm-hmm. like the last time I tripped mushrooms. I was like sixteen years old, and uh, it's like I came to a lot of realizations coming down off of that high, dude. Like my mm-hmm. life just got like interesting. Straighten me up. For the for the for the did good. Did you yeah. have did you have a smarter version of yourself come come out and basically just like kind of like go over? I mean, how did you come to terms like that in a in a condition like that? I don't know. It's just like my path became just fucking clear at that point. You know where yeah. I needed to go in right. life. So you obviously, I needed a change. Right, right. Fucking love it, man. Because right. I've heard so many scientists. Um, actually, they started banning that shit. Because they, 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 they were pissed or some shit like that. So they started making it, like, you know, frowned upon to study hallucinogenics well, and stuff like that. It, I th- that came from the Native Americans. I mean, they would go and, and they would eat the peyote and go into these sweat tents or smoke tents, you know. And mm-hmm. then they would be in there for fucking days, that's you why, know. And that's then they why would come asked. out, like, with some fucking... Yeah. Cool <laughs> See, decisions, you know. Decisions. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're gonna irrigate this motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There will be water from. We the can ground. bring water from way over there in here. I don't even right. know what irrigate is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it. I've seen it. I got it. I got this. I got this. You come out like I don't know what irrigate is. Also. We traded. <laughs> right, huh? Hey, and it's like they were in there to groove you. I was like, they're talking about running bull. You saw that shit, right? Yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> running bull. You saw it. Oh right? We got it God. right now. I need to say Hey, where you guys pay Yodi from, yo? <laughs> no, for real. No, but that's why I said it. It's true. I, yeah, yeah, I like it. I, it's, it makes perfect sense. But that's why I said it because I've heard people say that they've had experiences where it's so weird because they come <laughs> out with a new perspective on something but during the process, they it was almost like some other else. person or another version of themselves was explaining something. Not literally another version of themselves, but it was just something that was coming to them in different kinds of manifestations. Like they were seeing it through different things. I'm I'm like, for it if it's weird to explain. I'm for it if if the user is all in. You know what I'm saying? Like but, I don't yeah. want them. I don't want them to be discouraged to or to not I do it as long as someone's behind. I think it. they say if you got anxiety or some shit like that, like if you got high anxiety or something like that, yeah. then you don't do it. Like okay. it's more of a ch- they know what's more likely to have a bad trip. And yeah. I think it's high. If anxiety. you're prone, yeah. yeah, like you could be. You know, and that's then the only thing I'm concerned the about. The environment, things like that, they condition you every day, and then they give you a certain amount. A dosage, right? Yeah, a dose, and you don't exceed that. And you do your thing, but I mean, if this is what is actually a healing property and mm-hmm. it can make you see things differently and have new perspective, yeah. that's cool as shit to me, man. Mm-hmm. Especially where does that come from? Especially when you get if you get the numbers you're looking for, right? Right, mm-hmm. like you're getting that accuracy and it's fucking. It's hit. yeah. When they got it to a science, yeah. they're gonna. Yeah. That's, well, that's going to be the awesome well, part. Well, my question is, what are you connecting to that's making you understand something better? Neurotransplants. Yeah, the you know neural what I mean? stuff. You open them up. Like the things you're, the things you're, but the, but what's telling you this information? Or what's it's a it's a it's a wiser version of yourself because he said what it, is it, it opens up more yeah, of your brain capacity. Yeah, yeah. You're using more of your brain when you're tripping. 
Right. And it just it, – it, it, it is like – Stepping away out of out of yourself, yeah. but it's like you are communi- It's it's a smarter version of you talking to you. Right. you know? So that's my question: yeah. What is that fucking thing? Just another that's, chamber. It's, right. it's what is that open chamber that it's you're unlocked. going to in your brain? Well, uh, that's so uh, cool. You're, you're literally you're just thinking smarter. Unbelievable. You know, yeah, it's you're like just, a, you just become smarter. Yeah. You know, or, or for, you're, I mean, or well, that's why we only use ten percent of our brain or something like that, yeah. right? Or you're yeah. only only you're you're probably. Tr- not trying. You ever see that right? movie where that chick uses all of her brain and she could like walk through things? Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. a bad. What is that movie called? It's a name. It's one a chick's name. It's one, one name. With, starts yeah. with an A. It's yeah. It's yeah. one name or something. With, uh, it's a good Scarlett fucking Johansson, movie. Right? Oh yeah. 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 I fucking yeah. love her. Fucking good movie, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's a good movie. But I it think is. I think it's Aeon Flux. Right, it, Eon Flux, Ace, but it's with an A, something like that. Anyway, because I'm thinking when you when you're actually active. On mm-hmm. it that I just think it unlocks another chamber in your brain. It's like, hey man, we're gonna go here today. You think if this we could use blocked. all our yeah. all our brain, we could levitate or? Oh or yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, like some ninja in shit. Spirit world. No, I think dude. We, to me, that's so cool. I think we like internet. Like in my mind, internet, that is yo. like so cool, man. Like we could read minds and shit if we could oh, fucking. Good. We wouldn't have to talk. We could just yeah. communicate telepathically. Dude, it's just crazy to think that. No, it's true. That, it just blew, that's mind blowing shit to me. I'm too old for that program now. I'd be disqualified. You know, they'd be behind <laughs> the, the, gla- the they'd be behind the tinted glasses. Like Mr. Garden, you're disqualified from a program. Why is that? Because you can no longer handle your shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never say you can't, Michael. Just say you presently struggle. But I know people that can give you the last four digits of your credit card right now. Like what? For real, real you got to bring this person in. I don't know what that means. No, like, like, he, like your I don't know if I need number. to do business with this man. No, no, but or, I'm just saying like they they that they, they, they it's not it's like they can read. They they get out I of know here. Re, like I know real profit like people for real. All right, can we get them in here? No, I don't want to bring them in there. No. no. That cuz that's putting them on the spot kind of thing. No, it's it's, it's disrespectful it's that, to do it. It's it's not cuz they're not like is that not cool? people they're yeah. like that's church. not cool. They do it for well, a good cause. Yeah, they, they do could it. You for, take, I got, could you I got take one of saying. one of us to them? Yeah, off I the mean, air yeah, yeah, to get I the could. experience. Yes, but then that would be mean if you open to be. Ready. And I come and judge them and yeah. stuff, and if I'm really because I'm brutal. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not that kind of mm-hmm. party. So I'd be like, this person's full. You got to come in <laughs> believing. Yeah, it's not that you got to come in, but you just can't come in skeptical. No, it's not you got to come in. Skeptical. No, it's, it's that just... I come back to the show, and if I get a oh. bad review, no. oh no, 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 it's no. not even no. bad review. Oh. What I'm saying is, I got bad energy. Yeah, no, can you help us because I'm white. Not saying yeah. shit. <laughs> That's what he's trying what to tell you. What I'm saying is, it's two <laughs> different things. Energy. <laughs> it's two different things, though. For real, it's Bobby, like, do you have your football picks? <laughs> yeah, I got my football picks, but I'm just saying it's two different things. It's yeah. two totally different lives. So it's like I would. It's like me. I wouldn't take. It's like I take that stuff serious, so I wouldn't. Right, right. Because right. y'all, I mean, y'all are not. You wouldn't want to air right. it out. Yeah, it's not right. even no okay. error. It's I got you. I mean, it so is. So you're just saying that I'm not serious. I get it. That's yeah, it. No, that's well, not. that's that's <laughs> kind of like. I know you're kidding. You're gonna get. Maybe him it's kind of like inner up. circle for you. I am, it's I inner know, circle for you. No, it's close. No. All right, all right. I'm gonna change the subject. No, I don't mean like this. You know what? I see what you're doing. And I raise you. I see what's going on. To put a bow on it for my boy Alex Trebek. My answer is: What is Lucy? Yeah. Oh ah, yeah. <laughs> Lucy, that was it. Lucy. What is Lucy? Oh, that was yeah. the movie with the with the chick that could use it. Yeah. What yeah. is Scarjo? Scarlett Johansson. That's Lucy. what it is. Scarjo. Lucy, I'm home. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do some football picks. Let's go. Oh, let's get it in. Did somebody bring them up. I did mine late. Does somebody have the games? Oh, I do. I could do it in two seconds. I got Colts the Titans. Titans. I got the Titans. I, I got, got the Colts. Colts. I got the Colts. All right, I'm with you, Mike. Titans. Okay. okay. Texans, Browns. I got the Texans. Brownies. I got. I got the Browns. <laughs> <laughs> he missed that <laughs> game. <laughs> he said that game. I got all. Here we go. We're going. We're going. We're going. I got Browns. Uh, Washington football team with the Lions. I got the Lions. I got the Lions. Lions. Yeah, me too. Detroit. Line up. Bucks at the Panthers. I got the Bucks bouncing Bucks, back. Bucks, Bucks, Bucks. Bucks. Revenge that. game. They bucked that. They They're pissed. Uh, Although Teddy Bridgewater is looking good, they could. Yeah, but McCaffrey's not going to play. 
He got yeah. hurt again. But they look so good. They almost beat Kansas City, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had mm-hmm. them all mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Eagles at the Bro, Giants. I got the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm going to go with the Giants on that. Oh, I'm going to be the long one. The g man. That's that beat a steal. No, I got uh, the Giants. I'm sorry. Uh, I hate you coming. Jaguars at Packers. You got the Giants too? Yeah, I got the Eagles. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jaguars at Packers? Pack. I got the pack. Pack, 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 pack. pack. I got the Packers. That's a four pack. Um, <laughs> Bills at Arizona. I got Bills. Bills. I got, I got, who did I do? I did Arizona. Oh. Chargers, yeah. Dolphins. Got the fish. I got fish. The, I got fins. the fins. Yeah, man. Uh, I believe them, yo. Broncos, Raiders. I got the Raiders. 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 Yeah, black hole all around. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm disappointed in the way you say Raiders. That's your team. You should be Raiders. Don't tell me how it should be. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm don't, don't speak. You my, don't know me. Yeah, don't speak my <laughs> truth. <laughs> you think you know me, but you don't. Seattle versus the Rams. The Raiders. So fun. Okay, uh, the Rams. I got the Rams. Oh. Me too. I got the Seahawks. Oh shit! I got Seahawks. Uh, Steelers. Well, Bengals at Steelers. I got the Steelers. Shh, Steel got, City. I got the Steelers. How could you fucking? I yeah, I know the schedule so easy. How could you go? Forty Nine ers at the Saints. This is a good fucking comeback right there. I got, I got the Saints. The Saints. Yeah, same. Uh, we got the Ravens with the Pat Ryan. He says it like oh. uh, I got Ravens. I'm going to the thing. You got it. Pull it up. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Ravens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, and lastly, I got the Ravens Monday night Vikings Bears, which I think is really that good. was a tough one. It's Vikings, really, really good. I got the Vikings. Got the Bears. bears are like, fake. What like you got? They're getting exposed about, right now. They're in the process of getting exposed. You pick the Bears, you're just going to get. He's anti foles. Yeah, bro. If you want to talk about stock from Monday night last night, I almost pulled that shit off. The Jets had yeah, that game one. No, 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 I'm with you. I'm not saying black go through that shit. No, I'm not hey, saying man. picks wise. I'm just saying the game. Like if you had stock and it's like this is what the fuck they're giving me. But then, oh yeah, like, yeah, next yeah, week yeah. like Vikings yeah. Bears. Yeah, that's dude. That make up. That make up. That's that a high. Up. And with the last but not least, the Vikings. I am going with um. I'm a Vikings person this week. I got Dalvin Cook, dog. You got uh, to. Yeah. Right the They're on fire out. right now. It's like they're finding their groove yes, right now. Yes, sir. All right. All cylinders. Well, that's cool, man. Everybody's got that. All right. Well, we usually don't do Hero of the Day today, but today is a different damn day. So we're definitely doing some Hero of the Day. Let's go. Hero of the Day. All veterans, yes, stand sir. up. Word. It's your day. Thank you. Cheers. Go get a fucking meal, bro. You deserve it. Yes. They got free meals almost everywhere. (laughs) Oh, Mike. Fucking. uh, Just take off tomorrow, Mike. Can I have your cornbread, yo? Yeah. (laughs) Mike, you uh, you got something to say on this day. He was going to. Actually, we're going to do a fucking call in, man. We were. Yeah, we were going to do a call in. Well, that was for the Marine Corps birthday. But the man had to work. Yep. Man's got to work. Doesn't even get to work. Man's got to work. Work work in Marine, yo. So for that. Are we still lining up a shot? Oh, no. We no. did it already. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Well, yeah. We done. <laughs> All right. We kept moving on. We yeah. did. We did. All right. Was anybody got anything? Hey, love somebody new, yo. Yeah, man. That's right. Be nice to one another, especially on the road. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's. Be patient. Yeah. Oh, I like that, too. Be patient. Be nice. Do all those kind things. Do some uh, uh, kind uh Act random kind, acts of kindness. Random acts yeah. of kindness. What's it with Chappelle say for people that don't deserve it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. And you got to do it for people that, no. a black person that yeah. doesn't yeah. deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> For all the fucking years. Because. Yeah. That's cause, it. Because they you brought all this pain and suffering <laughs> on people that didn't deserve it. Yo. I swear to you God, that guy is fucking legendary, man. Yes, sir. He had that psychedelic therapy or something. Mm. Yeah, Came back different. I think his heart's involved, man. When he did that George Floyd thing, man, it really uh, that really showed me how versatile he was. He went on stage to do a comedy show mm-hmm. and just started talking about that because it, it had just it. happened. Yeah, just, hey. And he, you could tell he was all in his feelings, and man, it just came out and, and the, doubled down because he because he sent it out. Uh-huh. Yeah, like he could have kept it in house. Yeah, he well, he apologized to the people. He said, "Look, I'm sorry, but." We'll yeah. go somewhere with this. And he did. And he made it funny somehow. He came out of that and made them laugh. And, and they were happy tears. Yeah. And they were like crying. Then you were happy tears. I mean, the guy could just move you in all kinds of emotions. He's, he's really one of a kind, man. I smell him. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that guy, Dave Chappelle, man. He's a genius. Seems like fine wine. He keeps getting better and better. All right. With that said, I guess we're out of here. So, oh, want to do a balls deep salute? Right. Balls deep. Yo. Yeah. All, right. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you can't be nice. Keep it moving in. Be a part of the pride on the People's Network. Please subscribe.